was long overdue. <laughs> it was long. I mean, we've known each other for so many years, and uh, we've been at so many concerts, shared so many stages, and they're an amazing group I look up to. So the opportunity was definitely one that I had to jump towards, and uh, I had a great time. It was a very different style altogether. <music> Uh, I think it was, you know, with every genre that I attempt, uh, it's always about trying to do it well. So it was, it was their sphere, it was their, uh, their expertise, so I just wanted to do it well that they could be happy. And what was the best part is that they were actually happy with it and they enjoyed it. So, yeah, so um, for me, I think it was, it was more satisfying knowing that they, they actually enjoyed it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing to write home about, but we tried. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If they call me up for any busy day, I need a choreographer at least one month just to get ready for that. So. <laughs> uh, of course, it took a bit of time to write. Um, I think for me, it's always about where do you find the words? It's about finding the right way to deliver it. Um, I think that's what differentiates the artistry is delivery. So somebody could have the words, but just having to deliver it in the right way that people will be able to, um, I guess, enjoy and at the same time be more open to the message. So it was, it, was, uh, it was hard. I don't remember how long it actually took, maybe about an hour or two, but I think, uh, yeah, it was about between that space of time. I think I, I do the same thing with a lot of artists. I ask them to send me what they've done, and so when I listen to their style, when I listen to their voice, ask myself, okay, can we fit in? And then at the same time, uh, they can send me an instrumental. Um, if I don't like it, then I don't like it. But I liked the instrumental, I liked the song that they were creating, and I think it blended well. Uh, music is also, collab was about chemistry. So if there's no chemistry, then there's no need to try to do it or force something to happen. Um, I think so, it's, anything can happen if two people come together and they, they have a meeting point. Sometimes it's always good to go into the studio and create something from scratch together. And if you're finding that you're two different, uh, different styles. And also sometimes somebody will just send you something in your lap and you're just like, oh yeah, I can, I can hear myself on this. And that's what really happened in this situation. So I'm always open to different artists and different styles and different types of music who would be, who would want to do something. Um, I try to get collabs as well and try to push myself to a higher level uh, as well. So I don't take it offense if somebody says, I don't think we can do a collab together. So at the same time, I don't think people should take it as an offense. But I mean, my fans, I don't know if people are my fans, fans, because if they do follow my music, I mean, I wrote Mamuna Samalida by myself. And I've written so many other songs in Nyanja, Vernacular, I co-wrote Mulivakulu. Uh, and so at the, when, it, when it comes to having to sit down and write something and create something, I think anything is possible. And that's the beauty of art. Um, I think people sometimes limit themselves where maybe they hear one, two songs and then they assume that there's an artist. So I always encourage people, go and buy albums, listen to albums in entirety so you can hear the variation, the style of the artist, how far they expand, what they're able to do. You can find they rap, you can find they do reggae, you find what. So albums are very more, are more whole than just having one or two tracks by an artist and saying, ah, now I know their genre. No, I think it's always good to explore and find out more and more about the artist. Yeah. 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 No, thanks. <laughs>